Connor. No more hashtag. No more Mr. Nice Guy. McGregor. Dustin El Diamante Poirier. Woo! UFC 264, baby. Just bleed in full effect. But after that press conference, bro, I don't even know anymore. I don't even know who to root for, bro. Initially, I had... Uh, Mag- I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm just... I don't know. And after that press conference, I'm still... I don't know. I just don't know. But I'm going with... Before we get into it, remember, these are my picks. I am not a financial advisor. I live with my mama. I'm a bum, and I got holes in my socks. But if you do bet the house, bro, if you do bet the house and you win some money off my picks, buy your boy a taco. Buy your boy a taco. That's all I ask for. I just want a taco, and that's it. And we Gucci. But anywho, back to my picks. I have for the main event, I'm rolling with Dustin. I'm rolling with Dustin. Why? Cause I just, I just, I don't want to say. Look, I like McGregor. I love McGregor. I'm motivated by McGregor. All his quotes, his swag, the man, the way he carries himself, the way he came from being a plumber all the way to almost being billionaire status. Everything about him, the whole story, the whole thing. I love it. But I think my dude is just no longer motivated. I don't think. Look, there's a thing as being there's okay, there's a thing being hungry and motivated, you know? I think he's motivated, my bad, I take it back. I just don't think he's that hungry. I don't think he has that killer instinct that I have to get to the top no matter what. You know, like based on that press conference, I felt like it was forced, like all his trash talk was forced, everything about it was forced, the walks, the mystic math thing, everything about it was forced. Heck, a damn reporter even low-key pressed my guy. He tasked him a horrible question. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to repeat it. It was about him, but I'm going to say it was about him winning. The last W he had in light heavyweight division was when Obama was in office. Bro, man. And then Dustin, it looks like Dustin is in McGregor's head. You know, and when it's usually the other way around, Dustin's, like, he's not even faced by any of this. He said it. It's all noise. He's not faced by any of the trash. None of that. He's just here to show up, fight, get some money, and do it for his fan. I don't know. I don't know. Now, the only key, the, the key to victory, I might see McGregor winning is if my boy comes, if he comes back with that beautiful Taekwondo karate stance, I'm switching up. I'm switching up on McGregor. But I, I don't know, man. I just, I just don't think he has it anymore. I want McGregor to win, but I don't think he has it no more, man. And I, I have no disrespect to any of these fighters, not, not, not El Diamante, not McGregor. I like both dudes, but uh, my smart money with Dustin El Diamante Poirier. That's just it. That's the nature of the game, you know. Now, on to the Cole main event. Gilbert Burns versus Steven Wonderboy hashtag NMF Thompson. All right, all right, all right. This one, this one, all right. This one's a little iffy. Remember, remember, we made some money by a ball taco. If not, if you bet the house, that's on you. You'll be homeless. But anywho, um, this one is, this one's a little iffy. I don't, uh, I don't really know. You know, Wonderboy, like, like, Wonderboy. Even though he's getting he's getting up there in age, like the dude still has it. You know, he can still go. Like it's there's no slowing him. There's no slowing down. I haven't seen the last fight he had. I didn't see him slow down. I was out here just he's just being nice. You know, he's beating this dude's ass and he's like being nice. <laughs> you know, like this is what Wonder Boy does, you know? And uh Gilbert Burns, like he got last fight he had was against Kamaru Usman and he got what? He got KO. So, I don't know, you know, every time somebody gets knocked out, you don't know if a fighter comes back mentally, psychologically. But you know, I, I feel like Gilbert Burns you know, leading up to the Kamaru Usman fight, he was doing a lot of things to prepare, prepare himself mentally, you know, riding along all his training, all his, uh, in, in his logs and all that stuff. It's, 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 it's tough because as they say, Styles makes fight. You got Gilbert Burns with the jits and then you got Steven Wonderboy Thompson with the stand-up game. Like it's one of the most lethal strikers in the whole UFC, if not the lethal striker in UFC other than him and Adesanya and, you know, Dustin Poirier. But, yo, Wonderboy, highly up there. So, will, will Gilbert Burns be able to take him down to the ground or, or not? But, uh, you know, you got to be some sort of scumbag if you're going to go against Wonderboy. That's it. You got to be a scumbag, bro. It's me? No. I'm rooting with my guy, Wonderboy. Let's go. Let's get this money. Let's get these tacos. And if you bet the house, you dummy. Because you about to be homeless by taking my financial picks. Anywho, Sugar, Sean O'Malley, Chris Muntinho, Chris Muntinho, 
Sugar Sean sweepstakes winner Chris Montijo is going to take Sugar Sean O'Malley. The Sugar Show, baby. The hype train is back after knocking out back-to-back in one fight. Thomas Almeida. Let's forget about the Cheeto Vera fight. 13-0, and 0, baby. The swag is there. The drip, the merchandise is there. It's all there. Mentally undefeated. Sugar Sean O'Malley versus unknown debut in the UFC, Chris Muntinho. What can go wrong for Sugar Show? Everything can go wrong. And yet, he's putting it on the line, you know? Everyone's, you know, everyone's like, oh, he's fighting an unranked fighter. Oh, he's going to fight it. Bro, my, my, my dude's not even ranked. I don't even think he's in the top 15. Yeah, he, he has all that exposure. The UFC, I believe Sugar Show is going to be a big star in the UFC, if not already. You know, people are already lining, like I said, people are lining up, calling him out, you know, to fight him and all this and that. woo woo. And, uh, yeah, I believe he has more to lose here. Because Chris Montinho, about a week ago, two weeks ago, no one really knew his name. And that's not a disrespect, you know. And now he has everything, absolutely everything to gain. You have absolutely everything to gain. If you go out there and and win, absolutely win, by some sort of brutal just bleed KO. None of that. Uh, Daniel Barish, Barush, uh, vic- way to victory against Tony Ferguson. We don't want to see that, you know. For Chris Montino to actually make noise and make a name out of himself, he has to capitalize on this moment. But I'm riding with the Sugar Show, baby. I'm riding with the Sugar Show because, bruh, he's been there. He's done that. The Sugar Show is here to stay. I'm riding with my boy, Sugar Sean O'Malley, baby. Let's get these tacos. Like, comment, and subscribe. Go to watch those OnlyFans reviews. Rachel Ostevich, Paige Van Sant. You lose the house. You bet the house that's on you. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm out.